Next, let's clear up social justice. Club Q shooter receives 55 life sentences for a hate-fueled massacre. Anderson Lee Aldrich, the individual individual responsible for the tragic mass shooting at Club Q in November 2022, has been handed a monumental sentence, marking a significant step towards justice for the victims and their families. In a decisive ruling, Aldrich received 55 concurrent life sentences to be served consecutively with an additional 190 years in prison. This sentencing comes after Aldrich pleaded guilty to 74 hate crimes and firearms charges linked to the harrowing events of November 19th, 2022. While the plea deal spared Aldrich from the death penalty, it came with a sobering admission. The, at the attack was motivated at least in part by the actual or perceived sexual orientation and gender identity of the victims. This acknowledgement underscores the gravity of hate-fueled violence and discrimination that still plagues our society. It draws attention to the intersection of gun control and LGBTQ plus hate crimes. Prosecutors revealed that Aldridge meticulously planned the assault on Club Q, a cherished haven for the local queer community. The nightclub located an area host historically associated with anti-LGBTQ plus sentiments was deliberately targeted as a symbol of defiance against inclusivity and acceptance. During the trial, Aldrich's defense cited substance abuse as a contributing factor alleging that the shooter's mental state was compromised by cocaine and medication before the rampage. However, this explanation did little to mitigate the severity of the crimes committed. After sentencing, U.S. Attorney General Merrick B. Garland reaffirmed the Justice Department's unwavering commitment to safeguarding the rights of every individual, emphasizing the need to eradicate hate-fueled violence and discrimination. Now, let me tell you something. This was a tragic event. I hope this man rots in jail. I, I have particular feelings about the death penalty, but I think at some point you need to learn your lesson and be confronted with the the, the tragedies that, that you implemented on that day, um, it harkens back to the Pulse nightclub shooting when that happened. Right. I remember I was working in nightlife at that time and I literally couldn't go to work when that happened. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you would just contribute to the, this, fe <laughs> this fear monster that is already um, thriving in our queer community, you can actually go to hell. You can act, I don't care what medications, what drugs you're on. I know a lot of people that be on cocaine and don't be hurting nobody but themselves. Right? Right. Right. So you should just stay at home and mind your business, sir. Listen, let me tell you something. This guy is a piece of shit. Yes. Okay. And I will say that instead Agreed. of saying POS, he is a complete piece of shit. I remember when he was apprehended and then they were going to start putting the case against him. He tried to say that it wasn't a hate crime because he was part of our community. Mm. He said he was non-binary. Bullshit. Okay, you right. can start your own little group with Caitlyn Jenner and go on your way. All right. Um, you are not part of our, our community. And so that was your defense. The defense was he blamed childhood trauma. Who doesn't have childhood trauma? All right. Hello. He blamed abusive moms. You should talk to my Colombian mom. All right. <laughs> he blamed online extremism. How much time? How, uh, thank you, Bonnie. Hello. Drugs and access Hello. to guns. That right there is Florida in a nutshell. Welcome right? to my weekend. Right. <laughs> Except he was in Colorado. You know, Colorado. Co right? Colorado Springs, yeah. and that's you know that's that was their defense, okay? And right. your defense ridiculous. failed, and it's ridiculous. And like like Bonnie said, I prefer you not to get a shot and go to sleep and never wake up. I want you to. Like freaking live. just live in jail for fucking ever and in get general population. and have people treat you like yes. the scum that yes. you are right okay that's in, what i hope happens. yeah put them in general pop and you know watch and get pop it, oh <laughs> again and again i mean uh, I, I i agree he's a and, and i think yeah. that this is so interesting that it does come this close to the pulse anniversary which was mm -hmm. literally last week, uh, no? just just last mm -hmm. week yeah. right and i think we really need to you know focus on how we can remember all of those people and really keep them alive i think you guys all know mm -hmm. i have the names of every single victim of pulse going up and down my legs wow. and it's the only thing that i can do to keep from being just so angry at mm -hmm. what's going on is to focus on being a remembrance yeah. for them um so let's just keep them alive every single year we can. Yeah. And also honor them with action, you know? Yeah, there was, exactly. there was, uh, after right. after the, the tragic shooting at Stoneman Douglas, right? Our, our state passed a 
in insanely comprehensive gun, gun reform legislation um, in the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas Act. And they are trying to undo that progress and undo that work. Mm. Just this, just earlier this year, they tried to pass a bill um, that would have lowered the, the legal age to purchase firearm from 21 back to 18. Look, I spoke, I spoke in that committee, got dragged out in the middle of my speech. Right. And, and, and guess what? That bill, that bill failed alongside all of the, almost all of the anti-LGBT uh, bills that were introduced this year as well. And so it's important that we that we remain vigilant that we that we do not allow the the uh you know the pendulum to swing back and in, in favor of a world where where you can get a gun at a walmart and and right. and, and kill and, and kill countless people countless people and and lead to the the loss of so many innocent lives um so honor honor them with exactly action. that is true right 